Thank you all for getting up and coming to your mats. Let's practice. Child's pose. Child's pose. Feel each of your fingers touching your mat, each of your toes touching your mat. And put your attention on the things that you can detect with your fingers and toes for right now. Breathing in and breathing out. Maybe you set an intention for today's practice. Maybe you just tune into what you can hear, what you can see, what you can touch, and what you can smell. But this is just a practice. Nothing serious. There's no extra meaning to it. So leave all the extras. Leave out all the extras. Downward facing dog. Hands wide, feet wide. And really get into what you're feeling with your fingers and feet, what you're seeing with your eyes, what you hear with your ears. And become aware of this moment in time when you are on your mat doing this practice. Nothing more, nothing less. Just as simple as that, coming into this now here moment. Walk your feet to your hands, take ragdoll. And really let your head drop. Like let your head be extra heavy. Sway from side to side. Feel the length of your side body as you stretch one elbow more towards the earth than the other. Ujjayi breathing, deep and free. Take a big breath in. Let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, root down, reach up, look up, see your fingertips. And then bring your hands to heart center and still see your fingertips. We'll begin this practice with three ohms. Extended mountain, look up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe. High plank and pause. And plank maybe brings up some stuff. Let it bring up some heat. Let this plank be an experience of you lighting your match, softening your elbows. See what you see and stay here in this experience for three full breaths. Breathe in for one. Exhale, one. Breathe in two. Exhale, two. Breathe in three. Exhale, stay for three. As you anticipate movement, breathe in, lower halfway down for low plank. Good. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Gaze at your toes, feel your hands, feel your feet, and see one physical point at the back of your mat. Slight bend to your elbows to get into the strength of your arms, your triceps, your biceps. Hugging skin to muscle to bone. 
breathe in. Bring your knees low. Look at the top of your mat and jump there at the bottom of your exhale. Yes, halfway lift. Forward fold. Move with your breath. Extended mountain. Look up. Look back. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Breathe. Flow with your breath. High plank and low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three breaths right here in your downward facing dog. <clears throat> Coming back to the pace of your practice with your breath in, your breath out, <clears throat> your breath in. Bend your knees, look, jump. Yes, halfway lift. Forward fold. Extended mountain, stretch your 10 toes out. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift. High plank, low plank. Stay for the full breath in in your upward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Downward facing dog, see your toes. <clears throat> breathing in, breathing out. Look at the top edge of your mat. Let out all of your air and jump there. Yes, halfway lift. Forward fold. Extended mountain, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Vinyasa, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. <clears throat> Yeah, stretch your 10 toes out on the mat. Spread your 10 toes. And allow for simplicity. Allow for simplicity in your practice today. Just simply moving from point to point, breathing from point to point. No more, no less. Just as much effort as is called for and as much ease as you need to put in. All together, breathe in, bring your knees low, look at the top edge of your mat, feet to hands. Good, Jen. Halfway lift, forward fold. Last sun salutation, a root to rise, long side bodies, vision up, gaze up, exhale, fold. Long spine, breathe in, flow, high plank, low plank. Press down to lift up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Gaze between your toes and three breaths. Energetically press your heels down towards the earth as you press your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Effort and ease, softness in your knees, but energetic hamstrings. All together, breathe in. Look at the top edge of your mat. Let your air out, feet to hands. Half lift. Fold. Big toes touch for chair pose. Squeeze your inner thighs in. And as you squeeze in, similarly press out, like you could have a marshmallow between your thighs. You would just hold it ever so slightly, but you're squeezing in and pressing out at the same time. The effort and the ease. One more breath. Sit deeper and stay. Breathe in. Bow. Half lift. Vinyasa, high and low. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot warrior one. And we'll be here for a couple of breaths to experience the experience of being in your first warrior one. Bring your thigh low, your front foot forward, fire up your thigh. The invitation is there. As simple as that, make your thigh light up. Experience the experience of being in your body. 
generating strength and ease. Reach your fingers up, look up, lift your heart up, breathe in. Plant your hands and flow, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, so good, downward facing dog, warrior one left side, and prepare to step in and refine. Simple, effort ease, effort in your thigh, ease between your ears. Ujjayi breathing. Press your left knee towards your left pinky toe. Yeah, and sit a little deeper. Yes, good. Reach your heart up. Send your gaze up. Breathe in. Plant your hands and move from high to low. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, set your gaze at your toes and invite back in the simplicity and ease of this practice. Practice. Sometimes we forget that it's a practice. Nothing right, nothing wrong. No gold stars, no trophies. It's a practice like brushing our teeth. All together, breathe in. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, feet to hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold with your breath. Sit low, reach high, chair pose. Exhale, bow. Halfway lift. Vinyasa, high plank, low plank. Up dog, breathe in, lift your thighs, lift your knees, down dog, warrior one, right side. Take up space, reach up, lift up, breathe in. Hands to the earth and flow. High plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, warrior one, right side, step into it. Root and reach, breathe in, go up and go back and flow, hands to the earth, high plank, low plank, up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out, full breath in here, full breath out here. Yeah, let the heat rise. Breathe in. Bend your knees. Look at your thumbs. Go there, yogi. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Move with your breath. Sit low. Reach high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Vinyasa, high plank, low plank. Moving a little bit faster, but simple and ease. Right side, warrior one. Step Step into your power, step into the simplicity of this movement and flow. Plant your hands down, high plank, low plank, up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out, warrior one, left side step, root, reach, hands to the earth and flow, high plank, low plank, up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out, ha. Yeah, we get our bodies moving and it puts a finer listening into our physicalness. We come out of the thinking and we just get into the feeling of like, whoa, we're moving energy here. All together, breathe in. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, go. Halfway lift. Fold. Sit low, chair pose. Fold. Half lift. Vinyasa, high to low, move, movement. Up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out. Step into your fire, warrior one, root, reach. Hands to the earth and flow. Simple, effort and ease. Yes, downward facing dog, warrior one, other side, left foot forward, root and reach. Plant your hands and move through your vinyasa at your breath, your pace, your body, your effort, your ease. Right here, yeah, and land in downward facing dog. Hmm. Walk your feet halfway up your mat, stack your shoulders over your wrists. And 10 frog hops, donkey kicks, ninja kicks. Kick, jump your feet up off your mat, bring your feet together. 
Feet can be wide, feet can be narrow, just jump. We're generating heat, we're generating play, getting out of your head. Just get out of your head and get your feet up off the mat. Your count of 10, we have an honor system, but just jump, simple, simple. Nothing to be gained, no trophies, no stars, just jump. And when you've gotten your 10 in, gotten out of your head, come into downward facing dog. Simple, effort and ease, simple. Good work, yogis, good work. Yeah, take a breath in, let it go. Lift your right leg, strong and straight, bend your knees, stack your hips. Flip your dog. If wheel is in your practice, maybe you flip into wheel. Maybe today's the day that you trust to integrate your left shoulder onto your back, to lift through your chest, to reach your fingers towards the earth. Stay here, breathe in. Breathe out. One more, breathe in. Side plank, right hand down, right foot down, and lift your top leg. Pull in and press down, lift up, flex your top foot and look at your top thumb. Simple, see your top thumb. So good, downward facing dog, let it go. Good work, Michelle, good work, Cher, good work, Jennifer, I see all of you. I see your effort, I acknowledge your effort, good work. Lift your left leg, strong, straight. Bend your knee, stack your hips, flip your dog. Experience your experience of your flip dog, of you lifting up out of your hips, out of your chest. See what you see and breathe here. Yeah, breathe here. One more, breathe. Side plank, left hand down, left foot down. Right foot lifts with a flexed foot. Pull your toes back towards your face. Squeeze in and see your top thumb. Be here, see your top thumb, simple. Lift your leg higher. So good, downward facing dog, let it go. Yeah, there's also simplicity in like no trophies, no stars, like all of that. You're just in a practice. Breathing in, breathing out. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. And sit low, wake up your front thigh. Long stance, pelvis low. Back heel stacked high up and over your back toes. And from here, can you sit deeper? Pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in. Yeah, tighten up your torso, squeeze into center, and revolve your crescent lunge to the right. Touch elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Yeah, and then lift your belly up off your front thigh. Pull your shoulder blades together on your back. Effort and ease. Practice, practice, practice. Open up to warrior two. Yeah, sit deep, first open the hip. I usually get that pop too, and first warrior two, wake up your fingers, shoulders away from your ears. Front foot at 12 o'clock, yeah, and sit deep. Good, flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, look up, look back. Experience this experience right here, don't miss it. Extended side angle, right side. Your finger placement, your choice, but stack your right knee over your right ankle. Yeah, spin your right lung under, left lung back, and see your top thumb. Breathe in, breathe out. Simple, breathe in, hands to the mat, Vinyasa, high plank, low plank, up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out, crescent lunge, left side, step into it, simple, 
A little bit of effort, a little bit of ease. Crescent lunge, no more, no less. Lift and spread your left five toes and sit deep into your front thigh. Yeah, tighten up your torso, pull into center line. Reach and stretch your 10 fingers. Bring your hands to heart center for evolved crescent lunge. Simple effort and ease. Lift your torso off your thigh. Yeah, hug your back skin to muscle to bone on your back leg. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, open up to warrior two. Set your gaze, sit low in that front thigh. Stack your shoulders over your hips and see the tip of your right, left middle finger. Good, flip your front palm, reach up, re reach back. Experience this right here, this right here. Lift up and out of your left hip. Extended side angle, left side. Stack knee over ankle. Yeah, bend deep into your front thigh. Feel this in your left glute. Your right hip flexor, uh-huh. Left lung under, right lung back. Lift and spread your five toes in front. Take a breath in. Plant your hands on your mat and flow. High plank, low plank. Yeah, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. See your toes. Come back to the simplicity of a single point gaze. Mm. Breathe in. Look at your thumbs. Go there. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose, sit low, reach high, big toes touch. Lift and spread your 10 toes. Bring your hands to heart center. Revolve your chair. Sit your hips low, 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 low hips, low hips, lower hips, lower hips. Split your palms, open your arms. Full breath in. Full breath out, in, fold. Split your feet, hips width distance, grab your big toes with your peace fingers and drop your head. Put your eyes on one physical spot. Feel what you feel, see what you see and hear what you hear. The simplicity of the practice, the effort and the ease this moment in time. Choose this breath, this experience, this moment right here. Release your big toes. Bring your big toes back to touch and sit deep into a chair pose. Bring your hands to heart center. Chair twist to the opposite side. And sit your hips lower than your heart. Hips lower than your heart. And stack your shoulders. And breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Fold. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Palms underneath your feet. Palms all the way underneath your feet, gorilla pose, gorilla asana. Simple. Effort and ease, simple. Tuning into what you see, what you hear, the sound of your breath, the heat you've generated already in your body. Release and set up Malasana or Crow. Malasana or Crow. 
and don't miss it. Pick your pose, don't miss it. We're here for five, four, three, two, one vinyasa. Shoot it back to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Ah, yes. Take a breath in. Let it go. Walk your feet halfway up your mat and five frog hops, ninja kicks, donkey kicks. Five, just go. One, two, three, four, five. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Bow. Extended mountain, stretch your toes, reach your fingers, look up. Hands to heart center. Set your drishti. Eagle. Right thigh up and over, right arm up and under. And squeeze. Be here, squeezing everything into center. For five, four, three, two, one. Keep your drishti and change sides. And come into the pose. Simple effort and ease for five, four, three, two, one. Change sides. A little bit of effort, a little bit of ease, and a whole lot of breath for five, four, three, two, one. Switch limbs, eagle. For five, four, three, two, one, come to stand. Standing leg raise, right knee, take it into your chest. Take your big toe with your peace fingers or the outside edge of your right foot <clears throat> or hand on shin. But wake up your right toes, spread your 10 toes, kick your front leg forward and then out. Extend your left arm out, your right leg out to the side, open up. See your left thumb. Switch your drishti to see the tip of your left thumb. Good work. Come back to center, kick your foot forward, reach your fingers high. Lift and spread your extended toes. Effort and ease, airplane. Right leg, kick it back. Hands back, palms down. Shoulder blades pull together on your back. Hands to heart center. Half moon. Half moon. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders. See your right thumb. See your right thumb and pull your right toes back towards your face. Maybe you take the bind. Bend deeply into both knees and reach back and grab your foot, your ankle, the toes, and kick your foot into your hand and send your gaze to the ceiling. Peel your heart up and open towards the ceiling. Gaze up. Good work and come to stand, good work. Standing leg raise, left knee into your chest. Set up your space, wake up your 10 toes and open up and out. Open your leg up, send your arm out. And as you expand, hug in. Effort and ease, expansion, space, hugging in. Come back to center, left foot forward, fingers reach, spreading your toes, airplane pose. 
Airplane pose, shoulder blades pull together, creating lift, lifting your arm bones up and back. Hands to heart center, half moon. Touch down, lightness, lightness in your bottom hand. Touch down. See your top thumb. And take the bind, bend both knees a lot. Reach for your back foot. And then kick and spin your heart. Gaze up, up towards the ceiling, up towards space. The ease, up towards the ease as you effort. Release. Come back to standing. And keep your brick in front like you would for half moon. Have your brick handy. Dancer pose, because we're going to take dancer forward and touch down. Dancer pose. Left arm reaches high. Grab your right foot with your right hand and come into dancer. And kick. Kick your foot back. Pitch forward. Pitch forward with control and touch down with your left fingers. And you find yourself with a little bit of trust in a bound half moon. Now spin your heart up towards the ceiling. Send your gaze up towards the ceiling as you stretch your toes on the bottom out. And just be in this experience of curiosity. Yeah, and switch side. Dancer, opposite side. Yeah, there's a little bit of trust as you touch down. Dancer, left hand, left foot. And just come into this from... A little bit of effort, a little bit of ease, and a little bit of trust. A little bit of trust. And touch down. Touch down and send your gaze up. Up towards the ceiling. Spin your heart up. Yes. Good work, Michelle. Good work. Cher. Good work, Jennifer. And switch sides. Dancer, second set. A new opportunity, a new experience right here. Come into the pose and let it land. Let it land into your body. And touch down. Touch down. Root down and peel open. You fall out, you come right back. Be in the experience of the experience. No trophies, no stars, no judgments, no right, no wrong. And switch sides. Switch sides, dancer. Dancer to Chapasana. Come in, come in, kick, kick and touch down, touch down and root, root to rise as you touch down. And release, good work, good work. Tree pose, set your drishti. Set your drishti and come into tree. Foot, ankle, calf, or inner thigh, does not matter. Press into center line. Leg into foot, foot into leg. Belly button in, lift the front of the pelvis. Pull your bottom ribs in, send your gaze up and your gaze back. Gaze up and gaze back. Reach your fingers up. Perhaps back, effort and ease, simple practice of balance, of equanimity. Put in what you need in your tree right here, right now. What do you need? Put it in. Five, four, three, two, One, change sides. A little bit of effort, a little bit of ease. Come into your tree. Opposite side, put in what you need. Maybe you need eyes open, maybe you need stillness, maybe you need eyes closed. What do you need right here? For five, four, three, Two, 
one, release, come back to standing. Make your way to the top of your mat. Lift and spread your 10 toes. Spread your 10 fingers. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise, reach up, breathe in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, move with your breath, vinyasa, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right side triangle. Soften your knees and take a really wide stance. Three points of contact. Two feet, five fingers. And see your top hand. And lift and spread your ten toes. Simple. Simple practice. Side facing wide angle forward fold. Point your feet to the left edge of your mat and drop in. Drop into your head. Drop into your feet. Be here. See what you see. Hear what you hear. And just be here. For five, four, three, two, one, come up to standing. Pyramid pose, right foot forward. Yeah, effort and ease. Ease in your toes, effort in the centering, squeezing. Ease as you fold over your front thigh. The simplicity of pressing down through both heels. Breathing in and breathing out. The practice of keeping your eyes on one physical point as a measure of discipline the simplicity of a discipline. Twisting triangle. Left hand sticks. Right fingers reach. Generate length in your spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Vinyasa, hands to the earth and flow. High plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left side triangle. Simple. Effort and ease. Side facing wide angle forward fold with a bind. Interlace your fingers and drop your head in. Drop your head in. In and out, right? In and out. Drop in. Feel what you feel. See what you see. Bend your knees. Yeah. Lift and spread your ten toes. Put in a little bit of trust. A little bit of gratitude. The trust can be the effort, perhaps. Maybe the gratitude is the effort. One is the ease, one is the effort. And stand up. And set up pyramid pose, left toes forward.
Square your hips. Mm -hmm. And fold over your front thigh. Ease. Simplicity. One physical point for your drishti. Twist, twisting triangle. Spread your five fingers on your left hand. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale here. Exhale, vinyasa. Move your body through high plank and low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Effort and ease, simplicity of practice. High plank, low plank, down dog. High plank, low plank, down dog. High plank. Low plank, down dog. Gaze between your toes. Hear what you hear, see what you see. The simplicity of moving your body in a practice. So good. High plank, low plank, release. Set up locust pose. And prepare. Put in the ease right here. Put ease from the crown of your head to the bottoms of your feet. Now put in the effort. Locust pose. Lift up. Hands, heart, feet. Rise. Breathe in, rise higher. Put in the effort from the crown of your head to the bottoms of your feet. Breathe in, last one, rise higher. Right here, so much effort. Release to the ease. Let all that efforting go. Come into the ease of being supported from toes to fingers by your mat, by the earth underneath you. Locust second set, flip from ease to effort, rise up. Create effort from nothingness right here because you want to, because you can. Breathe into it. One more breath, rise high. Everybody, three or four inches higher, more. So good, release into the ease. So good. Floor bow. Bend your knees, grab your feet, grab your ankles. Grab your feet, grab your ankles. Flex your feet. Squeeze your big toes in towards center. Good, Michelle. And kick up. Press your shins towards the back edge of your mat. Straight back, press your shins straight back. Opening your chest, opening your collarbones. Huge sensation across your breastbone. Breathe in, breathe out, again, breathe in, release into the ease. Things that we can make happen when we put our mind to it. It's amazing. Floor bow, second set. Second set, take the grip of your ankles or shins, flex your feet, and kick your shins to the back edge of your mat and rise up. With the strength of your mind between your ears, rise up. 
Breathe in all together once more. Big, huge fill up. Release. Release your feet. Sway your legs from side to side. So much ease after the effort. Upward facing dog. For five, soften your elbows. Shoulder blades pull together. Four, three, thighs are up. Yes, good work, everyone. Knees are up. Downward facing dog. Look at your toes. Drop back in one physical point. Camel. And come to your knees. Simple. Simple effort, simple ease. Pull in, lift up, and look back. Pull in, lift up, look back. And take this to your personal edge. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit on your heels. Reset. Good work. Camel second set. Second opportunity for a second discovery, a similar discovery, a new discovery, a new possibility. New effort, new ease. It's right here. You find it. You cultivate it. You create it. You make it manifest with your intention and your attention. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit on your heels. Reset. Breathe in and breathe out. Bridge pose. Bridge pose. Simple. Effort and ease. Rise up into your bridge today. Your bridge. We'll do one bridge and then either six bridges, six wheels, a mix of each, or one big bridge. You can stay up for all of them or one big wheel. You can stay up for all of them. Be here in this first bridge right here, right now for a count of five, one, two, three, four, five, touch down, reset, come back to earth, Yogi. Breathe in and breathe out. Each one will be a count of five. You choose if you want to stay up, stay up, stay in the work and the practice of effort and ease, but rise up into something, bridge or wheel right now. And I will count through. One, two, three, four, five. Stay up or come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Rise up, number two, for one, two, three, four, five. Stay up or come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Number three, rise up for one, two, three, four, five. Stay up or come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Number four, rise up. Maybe you want to lift a leg in one of your bridges. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just think about it. For one, two, three, four, five. Stay up or come down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Number five, rise up. Bridge or wheel. For one, two, three, four, Five, stay up or come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Last one, last bridge, last wheel. Rise up into it, into your practice, into the easefulness of this effort for one, two, three, four, five. Touchdown. Yeah, Supta Baddha Konasana. Feel the weight and warmth of your hands and your torso. 
See what you see. Hear what you hear. Hmm. Happy baby. Effort and ease, even in happy baby. Efforting your tailbone to flatten. Efforting the back of your neck to get long. Ease and movement from side to side. Softness in your ten toes. Both legs, lift them up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your big toes to touch. Bring your fingertips to the back of your ears. Let's put in some stability. Lift your shoulders up off the earth and lift your chest towards your ten toes. Little pulses. Work the top part of your, your abs right here. Pulse. Generate the heat. Generate the fire. Nobody can do this but you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right leg comes to a hover. Keep pulsing for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch your legs. Keep pulsing. Lift up towards your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both feet to a hover and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hug your knees into your chest. Good work. Bring your hands underneath your tailbone, 30, 60 legs. 30, 60 legs, slow. Slow with ease. Your goal is to keep your feet awake, your 10 feet, your 10 toes flexed. Lower your legs, 30, 60. Put in the breath. Feet to a hover, see your toes, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs to thirty. Woo, stay. Sixty. Ninety. Breathe in and breathe out. Lower your legs down. Go back the other way, slow and controlled. Put in your effort, your ease right here. Honor code. Come into this practice of 30, 60 legs. Be, step into your experience right here. Step into your experience of 30, 60 legs. You know, you know what is needed. Come into it. Your choice, your 30, 60 legs. Choose your experience. This is the write your own experience part of the practice right here. Put in what you want to get out right here. Right here, put it in what you want to get out. And when you have done that, when you feel complete with your 30, 60 legs experience, hug your knees into your chest. And just notice how that you choosing changed your experience. Just notice, whatever, whatever it was, just notice. Abdominal twists. Interlace your fingers at the nape of your neck and come into abdominal twists for 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine thirty one two three four five six seven eight nine forty one two three four five six seven eight nine fifty hug your knees into your chest yeah let it go <coughs> high boat rock yourself up to navasana low boat. High boat, breathe in. Low boat, breathe out. 
High boat, breathe in. Low boat, breathe out for one, two, three, four, five. Release. Make your way to half pigeon on your right. It can be reclined, it can be face down, traditional, your choice. You write your own half pigeon right here. And what do you want your half pigeon to be today? And then come into it. Experience your experience. Experience the opening of your half pigeon, your practice, your effort, your ease. Because it's all a choice, the choosing between effort and ease, between there's a, there's a choice between everything, between breathing in and breathing out. Or you choose. You choose. and then change sides. How you get there is your choice. The amount of effort and ease that happens in between is your choice. Just be present for your experience. Don't miss it. Noticing your body, noticing your breath, noticing your toes, your fingers. And choosing to stay present in this breath. And then set up double pigeon. Stacking your shins, flexing your feet, and bringing your top ankle to the outside of your bottom knee. Yeah, experience your hip flexors. Mm -hmm. Mm, crawl your fingers ever so slightly forward, lifting your chest up and over your shin. And switch the stack of your shins, get the other side. New experience, new hip flexor sensation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Walk your fingers forward, lifting your chest with ease. Put the effort in your ten toes. Frog pose. Frog pose with ease. <clears throat> Come into your frog with efficiency and easefulness. Mm -hmm. And lift the front of your pelvis. Yeah, come into your hips, come into your groins. <clears throat> Be present in your body. in this frog, in this breath, in this frog. And see what you see, <clears throat> hear what you hear.
slowly come out of frog. Bring your legs together back behind you. Bring your big toes to touch and just pause with your belly on the earth. Mm. And then set up seated single leg extension. And fold over your front thigh. Root your sits bones into your mat. The heel of your extended leg, press it into the earth and pull your heel back in towards your body to engage your hamstring, yes. And be here. Effort, ease, simplicity of this practice. And dropping into what's happening in your body. And switch legs, switch sides. <clears throat> new experience, new sensation, new effort, new ease. Spreading the five toes on your extended leg, digging your sits bones down, your heel down and in, pulling in. And be here in this experience, this experience of folding over your thigh. No more, no less. No right, no wrong, just here. Just here. Paschimottanasana, both legs long, both heels digging down and pulling in. Fold over your legs. Engage your hamstrings. Heels dig down and pull in. Tabletop. Lift your hips. Send your gaze up, your gaze back. Lift and spread your ten toes. Effort and ease in equal parts. Five, four, three, two, one. Fish pose. Touchdown. Effort and ease. Effort in spreading and fanning your ten toes. Ease in lifting your chest, looking up and back. One. Two, three, four, five. Inversion. Headstand, handstand, waterfall, shoulder stand. Go upside down. Effort and ease. Simplicity of your practice, simplicity of your gaze. The simplicity of choosing the shape that you want to put your body into. Mm. And be present for the choice you've chosen. the simplicity of the choice you chose, whatever it is. Hear what you hear, see what you see. And be here, nowhere else. Be here in your body, feeling your toes, feeling your fingers. Feeling your shoulders press into the earth.
slowly lower your feet down to the earth. Remove the brick. Remove the brick, set it aside. Come into a supine twist. Both knees to one side, one knee to one side, eagle legs to one side, your choice. Simple, present, your experience. And as we enter deep rest, let the effort just be in the choosing. Once you've chosen full rest, full deep rest, full ease, change sides. Hear what you hear, see what you see, feel what you feel. and come into the ease of deep rest. Supdhavada Kanasana. The simplicity of the bottoms of your feet touching one another. The weight and warmth of your hands on your torso. The natural curvature of your spine coming back into play. Simplicity of being here. Make your way to your final Shavasana pose. Maybe you just stay. Your choice. Your ease. And come into stillness. Receiving your practice. Receiving your effort.
and toes and roll to your right hand side. Come into a fetal position. Tiny little ball. Beginning again. Keeping your eyes closed, come up to an easy seat at the top of your mat. And bring your hands to heart center. Touch in. And we'll close with three ohms. to your forehead center and together we bow namaste and thank you so much ladies for coming to your mat for coming and doing this work for putting in the effort for putting in the ease because sometimes making that choice of putting in the ease is the challenge <laughs>